Hi everybody, I'm gonna do this book a little bit differently. This is on how it floats, a sailboat, and we're gonna um, then talk about a submarine too. It says, sailing in the same direction as the wind is called running. Sailing into the wind is called sailing into windward. Sailing across the wind is called reaching. And then we've got a sailboat here, and we can see that this big sail is called the mainsail. And then the mast is the pole in the center. And then we have a jib stay and a jib. And to the bow. And the stern is the back. And the, we have the rudder here and the tiller that moves the rudder. And we've got the center board in the middle. And we got a little kid feeding a fish. Okay, so there is the book and I'm gonna now read about the sailboat. A sailboat uses wind for its power. If you are satisfied to let the wind blow you where it chooses, sailing is easy. But a good sailor makes the boat go where he wants it to go. If the wind is blowing from behind, there is no problem. The wind fills the sails and pushes them and the boat forward. If the wind is coming from the side, it's a little different. The center board keeps the boat from slipping sideways. The sail catches some of the wind, and since the boat cannot go sideways, it pushes it forward, but not as fast as when the wind is coming from behind. If the wind blows right at you, it is impossible to go directly forward. You must zigzag forward so that the wind pushes first from one side of the sail, then the other. This is called tacking. You steer the boat with the tiller, which moves the rudder from side to side. The, flowing, the water flowing past the boat pushes on the rudder and the boat turns. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the sailboat. I mean the submarine, sorry. A lot of activity going on in the submarine. Conning tower and the ballast and fuel tanks are between the inner and the outer hulls. And it has fins here, they call them fins. And it says the, these fins steer the sub up and down underwater. And here we have the snorkel takes in air and lets the sub run on diesel power near the surface. And here we have the periscope. It is a long pipe with mirrors at each end where the sub is near the surface. The captain can raise the periscope to see what's going on up there. And then you see him down here looking. And because of mirrors, he can see outside. So what would he see right now? Well, it looks like a woodpecker or a duck. And then we've got... You can see what's going on there. Okay, so now I'll read to you about a submarine. A submarine is a completely watertight metal ship that can float on the surface of the water or dive below and ride along like a fish. When it's on the surface, it uses a diesel engine to turn its propeller. When it is underwater, it switches to battery-driven electric motors since the diesel engines need air to run. Some subs use nuclear reactors for power. The reactors don't need air, so they can be used underwater, too. A submarine has large tanks built into it, called ballast tanks filled with air. To make the submarine go underwater, the men open valves on the outside of the tanks, allowing the air to escape. Then... The water comes in to replace the air. When the tanks are full, the submarine weighs exactly as much as the water it displaces. The buoyant force no longer holds it up, so it slips below the surface. Now it can use its special fins to steer down and up underwater. 
to, sur uh, to surface, the men steer the sub up near the surface, then the water is blown out of the ballast tanks with compressed air and the sub becomes lighter than the water it displaces. Up it goes. Pretty cool.